Hi, I'm Mandy with the Leadline Podcast, and I am sitting here at Equifest, joined by Lauren from Blossom Creek Equestrian. Hi. We met last night during the setup for the show. We were a couple of the last vendors here yeah. late at night <laughs> with a final hour finishing things up. So tell me a little bit about what you do with your horse business, Lauren. Sure. So Blossom Creek is a newer company. A lot of the materials and the products that we tend to buy like in a store, um, I feel like it doesn't hold up and it's not something that's fun and it's not something that's personable and it's not something that really enhances your connection with your horse. People think if you just buy a shirt and you put bits and buckles and things all over it, then all of a sudden it's just an equestrian shirt. Um, and it's just growing up with all of those types of things, that's not something that I was looking forward to continuing doing. Um, so I make sure that our products are really designed down to the detail. Um, and it's something that's gonna make your experience with your horse seamless. You're not fussing with your top or bottoms or uncomfortable or itchy or, um, we just wanna make sure that you're getting really the best of what you deserve. So what kind of apparel specifically, now I know you do equestrian apparel, but is there any right. specific discipline or we, style that you focus sure. on? Sure, so we started off more English. For me, that's more familiar. Uh, but some of our shirts, I would say all of our shirts, honestly, could go back and forth. And then we will be working on a kids line and a Western line as well in the near future. Uh, but it's been, it's been a lot to get off the ground what we have working with right now. Tell me a little bit about what you're wearing. This is a sun shirt and it's vented underneath the arm to the armpit area and then the whole back is actually a vent as well. And then one thing that I don't see too often is vented breeches. You're so right. So these are not only water resistant and stain resistant, that's why I've been having my sneakers on and not my riding boots so that you can see the vented sock and then the vented leg as well. So this is actually, it's a mesh underlay with a lace overlay. So you have two layers of protection. You're not just gonna rip right through the lace because um, that could be a concern like trying mm -hmm. to put them on, is it too delicate? But this is gonna be nice and tough to withstand and keep can you I cool. Touch yeah, it? absolutely. Yeah. To keep the you cool. detail is beautiful and I can tell just by touching it that it's not fragile lace. It is not, no, yeah, you it can is tell not fragile hold lace. Up. Um, I really try to put my pieces through the ringer and I wear them seven days a week and washing constantly and riding constantly. Um, in addition to like being in the car, in and out of car seats and couches and like materials that your breeches normally wouldn't be on. In addition to that, we have kind of gone the extra step as well. We have a silicone seat and it's not a knee patch, but it's not a full seat and it's a three quarter seat. So you kind of have grip where you need it and then freedom where you need it also. I love it. I'm Thank a big you. leggings person at home. I ride Western primarily, yeah. okay. so I usually I often ride in jeans, but when I'm at home, I wear leggings, and I realize that these are for riding, but I right. would wear these on a daily basis because I just think they're so cute. They are really cute, and I do wear them on a daily basis. Yes. Um, that makes testing a little bit easier. Yes, <laughs> I imagine so. Speaking of leggings, like you have um, compression in mm -hmm. your leggings. The other breeches that we have are more of a legging material. There's no zipper and there's no button. Um, those are going to be your real kind of stretchy, cozier pant or breech. This is a more compression. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have a tighter fit, a more true to size fit. Uh, but they hold in, and I'm not one to really exaggerate, but they feel like a million bucks. <laughs> they really do. Like, I, I kind of hate when I have to take them off. They look great. I love them. And Thank I love you. I can see that they have the, boot, the belt loops over here, too. And yes. the accent color is really cute as well. Thank yeah, you. you gotta do a little swirl for us. Yeah, so we have, <laughs> we made sure that this was a matching set. I love it. Tell me a little bit about how long you've been doing this as a business. I would say we, I've been testing myself maybe a year and a half, close to two years. The line has only been released for a year. That's awesome. So we are very brand new. Well, you have a beautiful booth here Thank at Equifest. It stood right out to me when I first came in yesterday. Thank the you. The setup is great. And I think giving people that experience, but also having them be able to try things on at a show is very important too. Right. So I love that you do that. Do you have any advice or maybe some key learnings that you've experienced as a business owner that you would share with other people looking to start a business from scratch? As a business owner, you really have to be dedicated and you have to be passionate with what you're doing because this is gonna be difficult. It's not going to be kind of glitter and, I don't even know, I, I don't wanna say like glitter and rainbows, uh, but everybody thinks, oh, having your own business, it must be so easy, you must make so much money that, you know, you really have to be passionate because it's gonna test you, but if you persevere through it, uh, there's nothing that you can't do, nothing that you can't accomplish. I love that. It's Thank a you. Great, great piece of advice. 
Where can people go to find out more about what you do, Lauren? Of course. So you can find us on all the social medias, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, but our website is ridebce.com, and all of our information is there, and then links to those socials as well. Well, again, you look great. I think it's great that you're here wearing your product, showing it off. I think you're going to have a great show here. So thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate that. Thank you for having me.